Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Drink for its nearly night. Hey, look at that tramp. That's my jacket for the tramp. Yeah, I can take it off. Oh, free. Hellraiser. Greetings, Haggard. I was faffing about minding my own business when suddenly. Eternal fire. Father of all. Your very presence prayer. is an affront Roll to the eternal fire. Must be the drop box. Bring my husband back to Gave the signal. He's a good man. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Grant what I ask and I'll spare no offering. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Top notch swords. Show me what you have in stock. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Fall upon your knees before the eternal fire! <laughs> what am I to do now? Ooh. 
Is it true it helps make soup out of kids? No, if you gotta take risks and not get fat. just to hide and wait. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic. Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? F fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. You must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. So, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid. I work for Radovid. Radovid. What did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field. Before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menga captured him. That... That's... What this is all about? A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start, before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic! I, I can't believe it! For a miserable sap like that! Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume? We can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you... I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. Oh, but... 
but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, Lee and Gay. How do you feel? Peace. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Run, Roach.
flower being old here for the winner. This be the witch. No one out there Freak wants to nature. seize this chance. <laughs> Pick more interesting things from my nose. You're a heartless man. I have coin at my old home. Same old song since you moved in. Then go on, live there. But it's infested with beasts. Not my problem. Get the hell out of my house, you old bent. What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I think I've been there. Don't need to worry about monsters anymore. I thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. I haven't the coin to reward you, but... Here, take this. It opens a chest. What's there is yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I can never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. Free head fellow like you's got to be experienced. Will you? Come on. Come on, Roach. Go, go. a single sign of monsters. Locals are either imagining things or someone scared them off. <laughs> a tripwire. Never known a monster to set a trap. Someone's here. Problem solved. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. open, rustling, 
over there. Hmm. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. to worry about. This opens. Journal. Little wear and tear. Someone's journal. Somebody lived here once. Hmm, something here. A chest. Dolores. Something's not right. <laughs> A tripwire. Problem solved. Hmm. <laughs> A sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. Might be just long enough to reach that upper level. See what's up there. Your reflexes have slowed. Hope you're not hurt. Those were my traps. Letho. Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. You one of them? Who's them? To the Emperor, mercenaries. To themselves, bounty hunters. To me, 
ordinary sons of bitches. Well, got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman, supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. Who'd you piss off this time? Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out to kill me ever since I left Loch Muin. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. You've grown careless. Let yourself be drawn into a trap. Nah. Only traps here are the ones I set. Gotta get rid of them. Coming? Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah. Improvise. Don't let him catch his breath! He's ours! Let's dance. Goddamn fools. Shoddily armed for assassins. They're just scats. Came to see if Lewis was telling the truth. Rest must be waiting nearby. And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told him. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Hmm. <laughs> Could be interesting. Love to see it. Come along. Side of two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. This Lewis, somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Drink with someone in the evening, check if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? Was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Edirne. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard and make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, merry-making at the Golden Hanged Man. Smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a few hours. Started talking, killing time. Chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you. But betrayal costs even more. Greetings. Good to see you, alive and well. Oh, yeah? Course! <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Another one? What's this? Prime contract available in the area? Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. 
Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turf. Arno Vesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps I finally caught a whiff. Hmm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. No insult worthy of scum like you. Careful, men! They're witches! Witches don't attack humans! Make an exception for you. Not good. Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Tell me where Vesto's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. <laughs> They're north of here. Uh, in Lindenvale. I'm curious. How much does the life of an old mate get you these days? Sinks. Sinks been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the black ones. Vesta showed up one day, offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. You gotta understand, you don't say no to an offer like that. I understand. Hey! My medicine! Gotta understand, Lewis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester going with you. Horses! Damn you! Take it easy. How you like that silver? Oh no, Vester. Elfgardian name. From Metner, I think. But he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names. Brandon Wilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimplebottoms. Manfred Wimplebottoms? Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure weren't laughing. Preferred method, rip the teeth, keep your eyes open. Think they're really here? Don't know. But like I said, I've grown real careful. still unwell. Head's hot as a half. And she's seeing things. Sent my youngins to pet mushrooms. Nice mounts. Gotta be worth more than the entire village. I see tasty's heart. Like winter. What's in the barn? Hey! Got company? Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable. Take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. What was that? Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere. No matter what happens. Plug your ears. What are the blazes? A bolt of lightning or something? Shut up, all of you. Letho of Gullet. Good to see you, alive and well. Funny. Second time today I've heard that lie. It is no lie. You will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive. Really? How much? 
Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie about eating fruit till the end of my days. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his head. Most men would prefer not to have one. But why have you come? To make my life easier? We were passing by. Decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arnold Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands. One man after the other. Till the end of your days. Those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? What do I say? Simple. You're as good as dead. Any last words? Sanguibarian venom. Something's fishy. Still here? Huh. They'd have cut your head off if I hadn't been here. Hmm. So you proved useful after all. Could have told me. <laughs> no fun in that. You all right? You're conscious, but the Zanguibarian venom could still kill you. Got the antidote? Hmm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for, that whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. So I decided it was time to end it. Once and for all. Found Vesto's gang and paid off his arbalist. You just witnessed the rest of the story. What if he'd crossed you, like Lewis? I had to risk it. If you hadn't cut down every last witness, I'd be a free man. Letho of Gullet is dead. Word of that would have spread across the continent in days. Wouldn't have done it if you'd let me in on your plan. Told you not to get involved. Well, my plan's in shambles. I should really disappear. Hmm. You could wait things out at Kaer Morhen. With your friends from the School of the Wolf? Uh-huh. <laughs> no thanks. Could end badly. Tell them I sent you. They'll understand. Give you space. Kaer Morhen, you say? 
Hmm, why not? Got some loose ends to tie up, but then I'll head there. Help you somehow? Need anything? No thanks. I'll be fine. So, see you at Kaer Morin. See you, Wolf. Returned. What's become of my home? It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah. Pretty generous as rewards go. You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. Hired a witcher as my debt collector. Must have broken many a heart, eh, Dandy? Too cool not to cute. Oh. That is the smash his Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. I've got a problem. Can we talk? 
Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Tris. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. of blue jerkins. Interesting. Looks like rain. 
Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. White one, take a gander over here. they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear, once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you.
Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Oh my! Certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare! You look great! You get everything? Learn any 
anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Hello, Vivian. Where will I find no, another this baronet? You don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive flora. Come back, you coward. What a jackass. I'm not done with you! Time to invest in rubies. Will's mightier than the sword, oh yes. Uh. Back again, Rivian Trap. This miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's 
look around. The truth is, they say if the mount works, the one who revealed to the temple god. Oh. He's not been seen around town in some time. Word is he's made some enemies. Turned to Joel finally. Must have thought he'd get a second chance. How dare you! <laughs> the play all baked in cranberry. No more. I couldn't possibly take another bite. Uh, eek! Eek! You know the children are starving in better. How dare you! Don't do that again. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me? Your voice, unmistakable. Oh, yes, those famous witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuven. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. So dreadfully, though. It's downright painful. I say, so I you should not be The word is, it's more like a pit sty than a cat. Like, again. My husband's a supervisor by trade. What a monstrosity. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff? Just a moment ago. Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is. A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Already dependent on the black ones. Economically. Radovid is not old. a whit better than Amir. He might even be worse. What a monstrosity. <laughs> Intolerance and superstition have always been a fool's remit. My husband's a supervisor by trade. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city wall. Sold him off! Well? Well done, old chap. I'm not just some old shot. I'm a cat. I'm to invest in I just... On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. Lake is so again. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night with that whore. Holy smoly. What are your words for my Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. 
But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah... Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But, please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Yes? Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my, Count! Your excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. You wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Truth is, we're already dependent on the black bubbles. Economic. My, is he ever so Back again, Rivian trap. Stop whining. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? 
Ah, Moritz. What do you want to know? How do you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seems just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Gerald, yes, coming? Yes. We'll soon return. No one's even noticed we're gone. <laughs> Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelwood. Please, 
Step away, miss. Nobility's not towards young count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm. Doubt it. Pound your kidneys to a pulp! That's it! All together! The fire! That's your face! <laughs> Where'd you come from? He's conjuring! Come on! Come on! Don't pay! He's conjuring! Hit him from the left! Not had enough! You're fucking dead, Prince! Strong fucker! Damn it! Come on! No pain! Snap your bones! He's conjuring! Where'd you come from? That's him! All together! Not had enough! The fire! That's your fate! Fucking dead brick. Strong fucker. Come on, no pain. Begun to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. Expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. What happened at the fountain? 
It was my fault. I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. You must be a maid to that barber. To heal your daughter in a day. Hmm. I'd say so. Oh, God. A reaper's come for me. touch. Tawny and Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Dandelion. I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. 
But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Take care now. People! My husband. Let's drink for its nearly night. Do you seek to get me drunk, sir? If I were seeking to get you drunk, madame, we would not be drinking Côte de Blessure. Why ever not? It's too expensive. That I believe I shall stop soon. coming here. Why? So Even with the war on, they still managed to procure fine I'm business. You know. I was faffing yeah. about minding my own business when suddenly puppy pops and heals me. Had a profitable case of leprosy one minute, next thing I'm There must be order. Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL Shay conflict. So, will you help? Let's open it. Blood are glowing. Vampire. Probably regenerates here. Just five more minutes. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. Uh, I'm ever running into things like that. Well, come on. Open it again. Why? See an elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I hadn't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. We should let him rest. But... It's better this way. Trust me. Come now, don't make me beg. I must speak to the vampire.
Dum dee da da dum dee da. You'll rot in the dungeon! which uh Only ever go in, not once come out. Boss has got a voracious up. 
What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. I'll rip your mug off, future! Not good. Fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Sandwich fuck is this? No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... 
ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Ruvin's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. We can't leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Treasure! 
I'll get you, you little whore. Where's moving treasure? On your knees, bitch! An eye for an eye! Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! This is... Keep it together, legs! On with it! Grab the cut! Kill him! Yeah. Keep it together, Lance! Yeah. Run with it! Grab the cut! Yeah. Wanna smack? That's what happened. Told you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. 
One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse? You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends, reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain Witcher revealed that the Lodge was behind the Regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the Witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down, 
Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Isleheart. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Honor in the fatherland. Pardon me, which are Geralt of Rivia? Yeah, what do you want? I have a message for you. Hang on. Who from? Read it. You'll know. So bored I could spew. Long live Radovid! Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Dania. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. So long.
looking to make some coin too. Hey, I want. Taking a peek at my run of it. Do now. He's got swords in his back and never picks his teeth with an axe. Barbarians. Be gone! Or I'll inform the hunters yes, you're a yes. non human. Grimoires and tracks blaspheming the sacred flame is spent. Oh, terrible times. Customer will see right away I've got the best deals this side of the pond. Whoa, 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 stop flexing like that, you're making me nervous. I tell you, this city will devour itself. Ah, uh, what's this tripe now, friend? Trouble? It's not tripe, it's wisdom. Proximo picked a pair. It'll be easy to find mages pets. in this mob. Easier than you think. You just need to set the proper base. Sword? Meaning? Grey air, come here. <clears throat> the lady took me aside the other day, accused me of this man. Coin. Nice, Rich. I told her if that's out. Sent by Triss. Must have been. I should find her. Oh, I should have set her in place. Maybe. But it stands to get worse if the war lasts another year. Prices will rise even more. Mm. A witcher? Sleep, sleep, sleep. <sighs> Move on. Last chance to surrender all the dogs for jest. Yes, the race to your residence, Bagelberg, the Memorial Army. The thinking customer will see right away I've got the best deals this side of the pond. Gives monsters the shit. Guardsmen outside Triss's house. Not good. Maybe he lied. He lied when I cut off his first Help finger. They all grow very honest after I take a second. The ginger bitch hides behind her witchcraft. But we'll find her. Matter of time. If they burn the pies in winter, we might at least warm ourselves. They're no use to us now. I 
bloody well told him not to stick his eyes with in this city. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. What's going on here? Fungus in the city. We're scrubbing it clean. Why are you wincing that mug like you stepped barefoot in dung? Mind your manners. Mind our... <laughs> Be glad we didn't smash your snout, mutt. Wait, grab him. I'll teach him his place. No way, sir! Cover your eyes! Pathetic. They came for me, and for you. Are you daft? Wanna get us killed? What's the problem? What? Slaughters a hunter at our doorstep, and then asks what the problem is. Plowing mutant! We can hide the corpse. The old street saw what happened! The guardsmen will come! Turn us in! Calm down. We've put you at risk, true, but we'll make it up to you. Give us a necklace and get out of here! Stop. I'll take it off myself. Get out! Now! Sorry. Didn't know if you wanted me to interfere. I didn't. Their behavior... Disgusting, I know. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. I was worried about you. Cities crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail. But the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner, all in one night. Then they started searching the city. Street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. Arrest actual mages. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Bertold and Denise, who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist, had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See, my hosts weren't all bad. Now you understand my predicament? Mm hmm Help two and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Berthold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way. Where's this hideout? Not far. 
in the bits. Now, quiet, Geralt. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. been cranky since morning. A patrol. We can't let them see us. Not to you, that is the... This is them, just as I said. Plowing sorcerer at his core. She's into the witchcraft too. Good work. Take him! No, I beg you. We've done nothing wrong. Right. Hear that several times a day. What, uh, what about my reward? Rebo Miracle. Under witcher. Land on two fires. You all right? Can you walk? I yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Bertold? Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. I can't guarantee you'll be safe if you come with us. But if you stay here, you will definitely die. He's right. We'll hide somewhere. Wait it out. Darling, I beg you. Shut up! I told you last winter we should leave, but no, that didn't suit you. Well, here's your comeuppance. We're going now. Go going. Thanks. We need to join the others soon as possible. they pay you for them please sir mercy how much a bushel of grain a barrel of herrings leave him be i talked him into calling the guard they would have found him anyways then they'd have burned us all get out of here or you'll burn anyway but how's that guards metal decide this was an ambush you know the penalty for that but this is our home. We can't just... Do what you want. Stop. Harry. There. Two more. Grab her. Have you checked the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. Guardsmen are hunters in sight. Everything seems in order. 
Or we're too. Damn it. They're here already. Alive! Take him alive! Watch his whirling! Shoot it! Damn it. We took too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. Knew exactly what he was signing up for. Small comfort. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. This way, Geralt. Chris? What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No. Everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear lady. You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born of you fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set off. You know me, bleeding heart and all. It only start bleeding now. They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir, especially among King Tancred's entourage. <laughs> Trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness! Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes. The help of a Redanian spy, Radovid's right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. Gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. I swear, I'll drop magic for good. If I could only bloody get out alive. You can't, you won't. You've got Radovid and the church against you. They want magic to vanish. Us. Perhaps if it. we turned ourselves in, the hunters would be lenient. A bit less torture at best. That's something. Good luck. Have you heard about Falker's bed? It's a bench with rollers. It's well, no one wants to hear it. Thanks for helping. No need to thank me, really. No, there is. 
You don't know how much it means. To have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's all right. It'll be over soon. Hmm. Soon. Stench. <laughs> Library. Look, Gonzalo de Verseo's poems, Jacob of Veraz's chronicles. It's incredible. Rare, first editions only. We'll come back for them later. No, we won't. I leave Novigrad today, remember? I remember. Just having a hard time coming to grips with it. Come on, we should hurry. Triss, found an exit. Reality, remember? Damn it, that's a lot. Tossing all these corpses down here. We're right under the main square, next to Carlo the Cleaver Varessa's headquarters. Can't be a coincidence. His debtors have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and calves. Nothing really. You need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find the way to the port first.
Bodies pale, dried out. Wounds around the neck and shoulders. sharp. still lit. Died recently, from bites to the neck. A lesser vampire. Stay close to me. Steady source of income. Come on, let's go. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Wood's rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. Stay with me. Geralt, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. 
Miss Marigold, we got a sale. Please. We had our chance, but let it go. I... I love you. Miss Marigold, we're casting off. Well, mate, at least you tried. A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philippa Eilhart back when we both served Redania. One day, I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave, put on a pinstripe doublet, they make you look slimmer, you know, and I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. Know what she said? Pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough? No. She said, Geralt, turn around. Not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm serious. Turn around. Triss? I thought... So did I. But I changed my mind. Thank you. I'm grateful. Dijkstra, no offense, but... Leaving, already gone. Let's go somewhere. I know a spot where we can watch the ships. Lead the way. You're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Promise me one thing. You'll stop risking your life for others. No. No? Triss, not a mage left in Novigrad. But you're here. I can defend myself. Well, from Kikimors, Griffins, Bruxay, but not from the hunt. You and Siri will need my help, and I'll be at your side. This how you imagined things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore, waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it. That things have gone differently. Well, they say Kavir is lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. I don't know. Kavir seems so far away. End of the world, really. Hmm. Maybe you're right. So, how do you envision our future? I'll be Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You'll be High Priestess of Melitale. We'll live happily ever after, a horde of kids around us. Oh no, won't get out of it that easy. I asked you a serious question. Where do you see us in, let's say, five years? Don't know. No idea, honestly. Trying to weasel out of answering again? You rascal. No, it's just, instead of dwelling on the future, I'd rather live in the moment, like we are now. I missed this Geralt, you know? Meaning? Oh, the Geralt who's not afraid to open up to me, 
Tell me what he really feels, what he wants. What I want? <laughs> One more thing. Shh. I know. Look, they're signaling us. It's a message. H L A K B R Hol Lakba. It makes no sense. It's code. What did you expect? Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? I'm afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. We'll get our happy ending one day. Yes, somewhere over hill and dale. It's a cruel world we live in. It's hard to make plans. Even harder to invest any faith in them. Though you might want to, badly. You were in an entirely different mood a moment ago. Hush. The spark expired. Don't worry about me, Geralt. And please, be careful. I've got to find Ciri. I'm close. I will find her, or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Care more. Haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I'll miss you too. fragrance, acrid sweat, and chestnut balm for aching joints. Dijkstra. Ah, those witches' senses. Can't hide a damn thing from you lot. Same seems to be true for you. Will you ever leave me alone? Someday, sure. Once I no longer need you. <sighs> Dijkstra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save, altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who'll save those in Rimba, Banard? Ard Kareg, Gullet. You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one. Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. 
but not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father, was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania, made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? It's armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passa Flora, in the garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. <laughs>